What is going on guys? This is Bullet Force. Done a few videos on this game in the past, but it's been a while and I thought I'd bring an update video. The reason why I haven't been doing this game consistently is because you guys can't get the game yet and I don't want to play a game on the channel where you're just going to be pissed all the time because you can't actually play it. But I thought I'd do a little update video to kind of give you some information about what the developer's been working on, give you some timelines on when it may release. What I think we'll do is quickly go through the updates he's added, at least the ones that I can remember off the top of my head, and then I'm gonna go ahead and share my opinion on the game after that. So in the short amount of time since the last video, which I think was about two months ago, and again, the game's in beta, cannot get it in the app store yet, this is what he's added. He's added the ability to spectate. So you can go into a match if you wanna spectate other players and just chill and just watch what's going on from abroad, you could do that. He's added an in-game recorder. You can record your gameplay in the game and save it to your camera roll on your device. He's added a bunch of new skins. The ones you're seeing me play with right now is the ghost skin. There's another one called the Spectre skin. These are see-through skins. I've never seen anything like this in any game before. Maybe you've seen it in console before, I haven't. Here's the Spectre that I have now. But for a mobile game to have these see-through x-ray looking skins, absolutely sick. There's another skin that I really like, it's called the Chameleon. It has these two colors that change. He also added a new sniper and he added a butterfly knife. Now the butterfly knife, I'll probably put a little gameplay in the corner because this video, I didn't, I didn't have the butterfly. It wasn't out yet, but it is now. And so I have another gameplay I'll put in the corner. But this butterfly knife is the coolest thing I've ever played with. It is so fun to run around with this thing. The animation is awesome. You can kind of toss it up, kind of throw it around in the air, have fun with it, and then just go for that knife kill. So stinking fun. They've taken out a bunch of maps that suck, that I hated, and they've improved the maps that we love, and they've improved them in a big way, adding a lot more obstacles, boxes, walls, things like this, just to make it much more balanced, to make the maps much more fun to play on, so you can actually hide and stuff and not just be wide open, getting um, scoped in the back of the head all the time. They've added a perk system. I, I'm not sure if I talked about that in my last video, but the perk system, what that is, as you level up your player, you can add perks, things like being able to reload quickly, um, things like being able to stay off the radar for a longer period of time. So that's pretty cool. Also the new loadout system, you could have three loadouts. You can customize your primary, secondary, and, and uh, your throwable, and you could add different skins to them. Also the perks, so you can customize three loadouts and you could change loadouts in the game. Now, with the throwable, my favorite, of course, is the throwing knife, and like we talked about before, I like the butterfly knife as the secondary. The other thing you noticed in the gameplay, kind of in the upper right corner there, there's kill streaks. As you get three kills, you get a UAV that's gonna show the enemy player. Five kills is a counter UAV that basically blurs the enemy radar. And then I think it's 25 for a nuke, which, man, that's a lot. I've never got a nuke. I was talking to the developer during a live stream and I think he said 25 for a nuke. I've never got one. I want to get one really bad. I like that because what a nuke does is it kills everybody on the map. And if it was like 10, I have a feeling that people would be getting nukes too often. So it's it's there. I think it's achievable. I think Beanie's has gotten one before, but that's my goal is to get a nuke, which would be just awesome. Drop a nuke on the whole map. Now the list I just went through was massive, right? Massive. He's added all that in the past two months. And there's been another huge development. I believe, and again, I was interviewing him. I had him, I streamed with him for two hours last week. And I believe what he was saying is he's gonna bring the game out for free now. And because I noticed he added cases in the game for skins. And so I think it's gonna be free. And it also sounds like it's gonna be coming to Android first, iOS second. Estimated time of arrival, I think that it's gonna be out on Android Probably, I would say within one to two months and iOS shortly after that, hopefully, we'll see. Um, the main things he's working on now is just uh, changing the menus, making the menus more modern. But as far as, I mean, you're watching me play the game in game, it's smooth, there's no lag. Uh, the lead developer, he's really done a good job on optimizing the game. When the game was first out, I used to crash a lot, no crashing anymore, so it's really, really smooth. It's everything you would expect from a shooter. Now here's my opinion, that's what we're gonna, that's what we're gonna finish with, but th those are all the updates and hopefully I got them all, but that was quite an expansive list of things that he's worked on. Here's my opinion on the game. I really like this type of game. If you are a Modern Combat 5, Modern Combat 4 player, you're gonna love Bullet Force and I think you're gonna love it more than Modern Combat. And the reason for that is there's just so much stinking variety and it doesn't have that pay to win factor that the Modern Combat, at least Modern Combat 5 has. This game is so fun for people who love to aim down sight now there are a few weapons he added. He had another one called the Val that is uh, you can actually hit fire with, but a lot of the weapons are aimed down sight. Um, you spawn, different game modes. You saw capture the flag there that I was playing, team verse, all this other stuff. 
just a really, really good variety. The throwing knives, just so many different things you can do in this game. It just has a wide variety, and it's just, uh, when I'm playing the game, I just, I don't know, I, I get addicted. Every single time I play, I can't put the game down, and that is the sign of a really good game. And it's still in beta, so I know it's going to get better, better, and better. So stay tuned. I will give more updates along the way as the game gets closer to release. Also, just want to get your feedback on one thing. I, like I was saying, I live streamed with the lead developer. And another thing is he does have a whole team working with him now. He is getting some help. And that's, I think, helping him also update the game even faster. But I was with him in the live stream. And I actually was asking him a bunch of questions, kind of an interview. Um, and I thought about editing those and putting that on YouTube. But it would be a really long video, maybe half an hour. So let me know in the comments, would you be interested in watching a half an hour long video where I interview the developer about kind of his thoughts on the game, where he got the idea, and all, just a bunch of different questions I was asking him. So let me know in the comments if you'd like to see that. If enough people say they would, I'll go ahead and pull that off of a live stream and edit it down so it's maybe about edit, edited from like two hours to maybe like 25 minutes or so. This is Bullet Force, guys. Again, can't get it in the App Store, so don't ask me that question in the comments because that's the question everybody's, everybody's going to want to know. Just be patient, and it looks like this game is going to be free. Free on Android and iOS, so we are stoked for it. It's going to be pretty awesome. See you guys soon.